I said, have y'all ever played the game of life? So, you know, the hard, the, the board game life. I said, let's put it in action and let's see. So basically what we did, every day the students came to school, they, had, they got $100, okay? So we were keeping a tally of every day they came to school, it's $100. If you came to school Monday through Friday, you got an additional $200, okay? So that's how they were able to make money, okay? Then after that, we gave them different bonuses. So this is the ending of the nine weeks. So with that, whoever had A's and B's in marking period three, they received an extra bonus of $500. Now you got three options, ladies. Feel free to take your time with this. Right here, this is our cheapest option. We call that the thrill. You know what I'm saying? We get it from wherever we get it from. Don't worry about it, though. We got it, though. Last option, the most expensive option. We got $600 to buy the furniture, but we also want to for the $100. Right there. All right, I know you love the So you have AB on roll? You have AB on roll? Yeah. So look. Said you have ABR on roll, your cell phone's only gonna cost you $100. You can buy the car and insurance because riding around. Yeah, with, I'm going with that one. We wanna go with this. So we're going with $600 by the gate. Out the you, gate. Good, I like that. Come on, give me the money. Today we kind of just played like a little live action of, of Game of Life. We kind of learned that sometimes life is not cheap and you can't lose your money if you're not paying attention. I feel like some stuff that was here that was a little pricey. It wouldn't be that pricey in real life. And if some stuff was extra cheap, that wouldn't be that cheap. But overall, I feel like maybe like when you're going into, oh, at a certain age, you should try to save up. All right, everybody, so our three options are a $300 a month rooming house. Now remember, that is just a room. You'll be sharing a bathroom with strangers. You'll be sharing a kitchen with strangers. For $800 a month, a two bedroom, so you'll have a one larger bedroom, one smaller bedroom, and then same thing, living space, your own kitchen, refrigerator, bathroom, and wash your dryer. So, decision time. We would like to actually do this one, and we see that it's $400 a month per two of you. Perfect, yes. yes. You can buy the monthly cheapo food bundle based upon ramen and soda for $200. You can get fast food, but you are gonna to have to pay an additional $100 for the amount of sick that's gonna make you. Or you can get good, high quality grocery store food for $400. You have to get a job, get transportation. Um, is this professional clothing? Yes. Why is this good? Why is this professional clothing? Because I look decent. But what is that mean? Job. Okay. So I want you to think about your resume. I want you to think about what you want to do as a job. I would like to be Pace, per Pace Personal Special Event Performer because I love to sing and perform in many of ways. One, it's better to be with a group, especially when you're younger. And two, it's better to have a plan of what you're going to do before you do it because if you don't have a plan of what you're going to do before you do it, you're going to end up broke. How much are the references? I don't even know. I ain't got the money. They gonna pay me. Pay me for the reference. I never heard of it. All A's. Oh, good. Congratulations. I got a bonus from a teacher. Okay. I turned on my utility. Just watching them, you know, negotiate. And, you know, some of them came up with creative ways to make, hey, I need some more money. So they, you know, that made them think. Because, again, the concept was, I don't have enough money to do what I want. What do I need to do to get it? Is there a way I can make money? Some more money? Yes. But well, what can you do? Uh, I can't act. Okay. So we need a commercial. Yes. For this, do. we need a commercial for this. First of all, um, um, you guys, tell me, what did you all learn? Life ain't cheap. Life's not cheap. Um, <laughs> life's cheap. Raise, 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 raise your hand up. Would you what? If you're smart with your money, you have a good life. I think the key thing is, a lot of times as adults, we always tell our kids or we tell the students, "Hey, you have to do this. You have to do that." And we, in our, in our adult mind, it makes sense because, of course, we don't want them to make the same mistakes we made. But cognitively, their brains are still not fully developed. And just doing something hands-on with them where they actually physically have the money, like to watch that money leave their hand and watch the money to diminish, I think that made an impact. What did you learn? What did you learn? Money go fast. Money goes fast? Money goes yeah. fast? Yeah.